We have new detectives on the case. That gave me the hope that they are doing something. I can't give up, you know, I can't. That hope for a Charlotte mother comes in the form of an old unit at CMPD with a new mission. It's a tight knit team of detectives that's been tasked with targeting violent criminals and solving murder cases. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Becker asked if we could see them in action. Now only on nine, you'll see them too. We pulled into a mobile home community near Harrisburg just as Cabarrus County deputies were putting a young man in handcuffs. He's someone homicide detectives here in Charlotte had wanted to talk to in a death investigation. They'd been working for several months. Once we arrived at the trailer, the person of interest was actually coming outside. The man directing that operation was Sergeant Steve Fishbach of CMPD's Target Response and Apprehension Unit, TRAP for short. Seemed a little surprised. He was very surprised, and that's how we like to operate. He was also the third person Sergeant Fishbach and his trap unit had picked up in just three days. All of them wanted for questioning in homicide cases, and one of many since the department redefined the unit's mission earlier this year to identify and track violent offenders. These are not your typical um, cases that we're making. We're making cases that, that are substantial. Lieutenant Patrick Matthews says the trap unit's biggest impact is helping homicide detectives as they unravel cases that may be several days or even several years old. It's still like yesterday for a mother. Anna Clyburn's son Muhammad was shot and killed behind their home in Northwest Charlotte more than three years ago. He was my baby and I will never ever get over it. Homicide detectives had developed a possible suspect but didn't have the evidence they needed to make an arrest. So they called in Trap to work the case and they've uncovered some fresh leads and new hope for Anna Clyburn and her family. It's we have new detectives on the case. That gave me the hope that they are doing something. I can't give up, you know, I can't. They definitely appreciate the fact that, hey, the police department hasn't given up, and now we're trying something completely different than we have before. Binoculars and then various headgear, different shirts to throw on. Finding those new leads of, takes uh, a little innovation and often a lot of patience. My detectives are very good at setting up around someone, watching them, and waiting for that opportune time uh, for us to move in. And the trap worked this time. They arrested this young man for a probation violation, but he could well hold the key to a much more important investigation that we're told is still ongoing. In Cabarrus County, Mark Becker, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Now, the trap unit has been on its new mission for only the last six months, so most of the cases that they've been working have not yet made it to court. Over the next year, though, they believe they'll begin to see some of the convictions as the result of the work that they've done.